Hello! I have a certain problem in my redstone factory here in my survival world, and it is these towers of hoppers with filters above, because I built a water stream up there really high up, and I need to get items from that water stream because this water stream contains all kinds of loot from witch farms, which we should be able to see up there, and other farms that are making things and sending them through the water streams. So I built the water stream really high up and I have these massive towers of hoppers. And everybody is complaining at me and saying that these hoppers are causing lag. And uh, yes, I understand that they do now because I had a certain misunderstanding about how hoppers work. My misunderstanding was that if there is a hopper above a hopper, the hopper below only pulls item from the hopper above and doesn't do anything, well, unless there is something to do. That is false. Apparently, hoppers are spending all the time every game tick, or maybe eight game ticks, but I think someone told me it's every game tick. They are trying to pull items and push items even though there is no space to push the items or no items to pull from above. So, these towers are wasting a lot of time. And uh, there has been research done on uh, 115 and 114 and earlier versions, but I haven't seen anything for 116. So I wanted to do my own test. What is the most performant way to handle this? So let's go into creative and uh, figure this out. And as a quick teaser of a feature I have just developed and well, it's not ready for uh, public consumption yet. I have gotten tired of uh, constantly creating new worlds with the exact same settings for like not spawning wandering traders and peaceful and creative and all flats and, and all that. So I have decided to put all my testing worlds into the same world, but every project has a custom dimension. And uh, it should work like this. Uh, hopper testing. I do this and now can void lists. And click that thing. Bam! I have a new dimension where I can do all the work here. And, uh, well, yeah. And then I don't have to recreate this world. Maybe this is a stupid idea. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Uh, if this is ever ready for public consumption, that will come at a later time. Let's figure out the hoppers. And this here is our experimental setup. It's a completely void dimension with nothing in it. Uh, well, except this block I'm standing on and, and the redstone block, which tells me uh, which direction I should look in because, well, uh, I, I keep like, doing this with my camera and I lose orientation, especially since the sun is straight above us. And the spawn chunks are also disabled. So the way I'm gonna do these experiments, I have also a script for this. I do something like this. Let's say, let's generate all the hoppers I want that are pointing straight down. I'm gonna take the setup like this and uh, then perform a test. What I'm gonna show you are shorter tests, so I'm, I'm gonna do the tests like this. I do a tick warp and that gives us a number and uh, we can talk about what that number means. For now, we want everything clear and uh, just do a measurement of uh, the background noise on how much the game uses doing nothing. And it's 0 0.4 MSPT, around that. What I'm gonna do is that later I'm gonna do these tests much more carefully with much longer periods of time. For now, let's just do a few ones where I explain what I'm testing and why and what my thinking behind it is. So, the setup that I have in my redstone factory is something like this. Of course, it's, it's not like this, but big towers of hoppers pointing down into each other. This is important. We are doing uh, 20 by 20 of these towers, and they are 21 hoppers big. And it's 21 because I want to have a hopper on the bottom and at the top, so we need an odd number of hoppers to perform this test. And the tests are gonna be like this, me staring awkwardly into the camera and doing a tick warp for one minute. And this is the base measurement I'm gonna use just to see how everything else compares to this. Because of course, you will not have the same CPU as I do, you don't have the same settings, 
And by the way, right now I am running the lithium mod and I'm also using sodium for rendering. So if they affect things, I'm going to try this in a more vanilla setup. It will still use the carpet mod because that's where the script is and that's how I'm doing my measurements. But I'm going to run a cleaner test and show you at the end what the results are. So our baseline here is 7.34, so 7.3 MSPT. So the first question becomes what it happens if the hoppers are not pointing straight to each other? Because as my understanding is the hopper is both trying to push things down and trying to suck things in from above. If they are pointing in one direction, half of that job doesn't have to be done, right? We have nowhere to push. We just have items to suck down. And this is also why I have gaps between the hopper lines so that this test can be performed. So let's try that. They're pointing north for no good reason whatsoever. Let's do the test and see how this compares. So 7.3 was our reference number, but 7.7. .7. Now, um, okay, this is awkward. I have already performed these tests a few times just to see how, how it ends up. Sometimes the first time you run this, the numbers are worse than they should be uh, because this is usually faster. Yeah, there we go. And, and my suspicion is that since I am first removing all the blocks and then placing them, this might probably cause light updates. And uh, yeah, that, that causes things to not catch up. So I might have to run the tick warps twice to have meaningful numbers to talk about. Uh, there is not much we can do about it. And uh, yes, like expected, since the hoppers have slightly less work to do, it also costs a little less work for the CPU. Not much but it's measurable. Let's do droppers. Set up like this, the droppers are empty, hoppers pointing down. So this is what everybody would be recommending to, to use in big hopper towers like that. Let's measure this. And yes, I will immediately show you the result of the second tick warp. And there we go. It is significantly faster, not twice as fast, but definitely this saves server performance. So I've been thinking, at least my naive interpretation of the situation is that some blocks require, well, some work on every tick and apparently hoppers and droppers do that. So naively, we would believe that, well, let's use a much more passive block, like for example, a barrel. So let's try barrels. This naively, I would believe that this should perform better, but will it? And it turns out that yeah, the, the, the hopper code is actually really awful. Not only isn't it event driven, which I mean, like, if a new item appears in the inventory above the hopper, that should update the hopper and tell, hey, something is happening. You should probably check if you should pull things from above. And if there is nothing in the inventory above, the hopper, like, below it shouldn't have anything to do. And if not, we're not doing that, there should be at least a check for is the inventory above the hopper completely empty and then skip all the work? No, that's not what Minecraft does. Minecraft checks every slot of every inventory above and below the hopper all the time. That is an insane waste of computer resources. Considering how many people play Minecraft and how many hoppers are placed, this is a power plant, like the, the electricity used by the CPUs by this kind of code waste should is probably measured in, in like power plants. It's probably not, but it's a lot of money to the power companies that we're wasting in electricity, heating up our data centers and apartments by just doing useless, unnecessarily badly optimized work for hoppers. So this doesn't work, but let's go back to the hoppers that are pointing down. What if they are full? And I just filled them. As you can see, all of them have five stacks of stuff in them, full stacks. And this is uh, from a scenario or some say, comment I once got. I don't know. I don't remember if it was my video or it was just someone in Discord or someone complaining about someone else. And they were saying that you have the, the standard uh, filtering setup that lots of people have in their bases, right? And uh, they were saying, and then you have hoppers in the back just pushing items all the time. And uh, even though the chest is full, so this chest would be completely filled with stuff. 
And the fact that there are items here trying to get into this chest and can't, that should be causing a lot of performance issues. That was the theory that someone said in a comment, so let's test that. So this should perform much worse than the initial 7.34. Yeah, it is performing better. I have no explanation for why it is performing better, but it is. So there, this is not exactly the setup people would have in their base. It would be hoppers pointing sideways. Let's point the hoppers sideways, fill them, and uh, measure that. It should be the same. Yeah, it is better. I'm not going to run it twice. You can already see that this is better. I think it, yeah, it should have been this number. And... Uh, we are performing so much better. I'm going to give you the exact numbers later. This is just for demonstration what we're testing. And I will do the same test for droppers and for barrels that are full. The next interesting bit that we need to test is, of course, let's point the hoppers down. Let's lock all the hoppers. And this operation here causes a lot of light updates because we're placing blocks where there were no blocks before. So definitely we need to run this twice. If light updates are the issue which i suspect they are and yeah this is performing so much better keeping your hoppers locked is apparently a good thing third time it's actually performing much worse than i thought but it is performing like that the numbers in the final tests will of course be much more carefully measured and we get a similar performance numbers ignore these lines i cut out the error i made here uh, but we're getting the similar similar numbers to hoppers pointing to the side. So what we if we had droppers that are locked, well the droppers aren't locked, but the hoppers with the droppers are locked. So let's lock them. This is performing great. So one last test for this. What if we fill the droppers? And uh, the droppers are full. The hoppers above them are full. I had to double check that in case something went bad. What happens there? Well, it's the same as if they were hoppers. So if we keep the hoppers locked, that maybe appears as if uh, it was as good. Of course, let's discuss this when we have the complete numbers. Uh, so I will now run these tests properly over longer periods of time uh, in a few setups, all different combinations, and uh, I'll get back to you in a couple of hours. Well, it's a couple of hours for me, and it's a couple of seconds for you. See you then. Now, and we have the results. Uh, I wanted to show you the spreadsheet I made here, but, uh, well, I might flash a screenshot of the spreadsheet here. Uh, it's, it's, it's a complete mess. It, it will not look good in a video. So let's make a Minecraft spreadsheet. And let's start from this side, because this side is the first test I've done. And it is with lithium and sodium. And like I mentioned before, the hoppers pointing down, just a hopper line, not locked and completely empty. That's our reference implementation, since that is what I want to improve on. And the numbers here are not in any unit. It is just how fast this was going divided by the empty hopper that was pointing down. So higher numbers mean that things are going faster. You could see it as... If you have, let's say, 10,000 hoppers that are pointing down and your server starts lagging, then, for example, these ones, you could build 522,000 hoppers instead of 10,000. Or say, let's 1,000 hoppers are starting to lag. You could build 52.2 thousand of this setup before it starts lagging. More or less, it's never an exact science like this, but that's a good rule of thumb. So, of course, down and empty, that's one by definition. The hoppers pointing to the side, that's just slightly faster. This is probably irrelevant. And I probably shouldn't have been using three significant digits, but, but well, I did. Droppers, like expected, perform much better. Barrels, well, slightly worse than droppers, but still better than hoppers. So if you don't have any droppers for some reason, you could use barrels and it would improve performance. Having the hoppers full actually improves performance by, well, 13%. It's not bad. Of course, hoppers pointing to the side and uh, being full is even better. Droppers, on the other hand, 
performs almost like this, like the hoppers pointing to the side. So, well, it is still much better than hoppers pointing straight down that are empty, uh, with droppers being full. But of course, there is no difference between droppers empty and full. Not exactly sure how to interpret these numbers, but there you have it. And barrels are performing much worse when they're full. Still not sure why. Of course, a locking improves everything very, very significantly. A just locked hopper line that is pointing straight down, that's almost 24 times faster because, like I said, significant digits, probably three is way too much. Hoppers pointing to the side is actually slower than uh, pointing down. This is where the significant digits come in. It's probably just a rounding error in the measurement. And of course, hopper dropper, when the hoppers are locked, is uh, this is the best option. 50 times faster than just a hopper line pointing straight down. And uh, barrels, like expected, performs worse than droppers, but still much better than the hopper only options. And when full and locked, they perform slightly worse. And there you have the numbers. They are not very relevant. Even though it's probably this option that I'm going to end up in my redstone factory, it's not really that much of a difference. But like I mentioned, we also need to look at how an unmodded client performs. Or, or well, uh, I still had the carpet mod, but I disabled everything else, including sodium. And actually, this causes quite some FPS issues. Not sure why, but it does. Sodium uh, renders fast. Uh, I had some FPS issues. So maybe the graphics performance is causing some issues. I don't know exactly how a, a single player world works, even though it's supposed to have a server. I think graphics performance still affects things. So I don't know. Uh, you would probably want to run this test on a server to get exactly the right numbers, but well, I didn't bother doing that. So once again, we have the reference here as one, because this is what we're comparing everything against. Everything looks pretty much the same as the other side. So the droppers are 80% faster and here they were, well, 65% faster. It's same order of magnitude improvement. Barrels, of course, worse. Full hoppers and full everything else performs better. Locked hoppers perform much better, but not such a huge improvement as on the other side. So this is 11 times faster with the locked hoppers pointing straight down. And this is 23 times faster. And the same thing repeats with the droppers. This was 50, what, 58 times improvement. And this is just 20 times faster. And the uh, full don't really change that much. But how do these compare in actual raw numbers between uh, lithium and sodium and some other mods that probably don't affect anything and the vanilla-ish because I still have the carpet mod? Well, hoppers pointing down that are completely empty are 6% faster on li in lithium. It's not a huge improvement. So the thing I said about the rendering maybe mattering, it probably doesn't really matter because I already done the science here. But 6% uh, faster with lithium, so it's not huge. It's Something happens there, but it's not much. I guess lithium doesn't really do much hopper optimizations. But droppers that are locked and empty are three times faster with lithium than on vanilla. And that's quite quite significant. That's a very good improvement. There you have it. These are the numbers. I am aware that to know to name has done a hopper optimizations mod and I would like to try it, but to me it appears that it is intended to be an extension to lithium and I'm hoping it will show up in lithium one day and I don't have to do separate tests for this, but maybe Yell at me in the comments and maybe I should uh, redo these tests for that mod as well. But I'm pretty sure that the mod will have its own testing that is much more comprehensive than my little monkeying around here. If you want access to the spreadsheet, you can probably arrange it, but ask me on Discord actually. This is a service I will only provide to people who ask on Discord, not in the comments. If you have any other questions, suggestions for other tests I should run, not 
doesn't have to be helpers. I could test other things. I quite like running these kinds of big scale, uh, collect a lot of numbers and try to make sense out of them tests. So uh, if you have suggestions for that, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and have a good hoppering. Bye.